Hello YouTube, in this tutorial we are going to learn about jumbotrons and contextual colors. Why contextual? Because some, through the research we learned that some colors are important than others. For example, uh, red will symbolize danger, uh, blue will symbolize tranquility or, or green, something like that. So some colors are obvious to majority of people that they mean something. For example, if you're in traffic and you have some red signs alongside the road, you need to pay attention and look carefully what's happening with those signs or you will get yourself into trouble, right? So jump on trons. yeah, let's go with that. Okay, where is my, yep, documentation. We are just going to grab official uh, statement here, but jumbotrons are basically something that is big. It's in the upper part of your uh, website down there from navigation and they uh, convey some kind of message, basically uh, something that is important for you, for your company, some news, some important stuff, some changes, something basically good. Right, so definition. Jumbotron. Uh, Flexible component for showcasing hero unit style content, blah, blah, blah. That means this, okay? This will be in upper part, well, for most people in upper part of website. What's the point having Jabotron into footer? Who will pay attention to there, right? Like people read the whole content anyway. So, okay, a lightweight flexible component that can be optionally extend that can optionally extend the entire viewport to showcase K marketing message on your site. Sure, marketing message, but it can be used for anything else. Why? Because you can put many things into Jumbotron. It's not hard coded, it's not carved in stone. You can put many things in it. And Jumbotrons can be big, but if you want to be focused, if you want to be simple, if you want to transfer some kind of message, simple Jumbotron will probably get the job done. Right, so let's go to our code and let's create one Jumbotron div and class will be, guess what, Jumbotron. Jumbotron. So let's see what we have when we don't have any kind of content. Okay, so this is just preparation, this is color, you know, nothing, nothing fancy, but at least you know that something will gonna happen here, so. Okay, what we can put here, h1, for example, Jumbotron test, and uh, we can have some kind of p here. For example, what's the text here? Mm. Blah, 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 something like that, right? Yeah. So this is basically Jumbotron. Now, question. If they pass some kind of uh, message, what about using it with, the, with those contextual colors? For example, how to create them so the background can be different? Do you need some kind of custom CSS here? Well, basically no, because in a bootstrap, which is absolutely magnificent, the lot of things are basically done for you. So, contextual colors and, okay, colors, convey meaning through the color with a handful of color utility classes. Include support for styling links with hover states to blah, blah, blah. Now, what that means? That means that for text, you will use this class, text, pri uh, text, 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 with specific color primary, secondary, success, danger, warning, and so on. So this is for font, right? But also we need it for background. So where is it? Oh yeah. So BG primary will be, will lead you this color. So yeah, I mean, what's the point? You see the color and you see the sentence, I mean word here. Now let's do this with our Jumbotron and you don't need to memorize all these colors, you will, <laughs> well, you will learn them anyway. They're not, uh, if you are, if your primary language, <laughs> language, English, if English is your primary language, then it's totally obvious to you. Many, maybe if you're, you're not Englishman or American, you need to memorize these colors, but you know, they're really, really simple for most people to understand. 
Anyway, we will just use primary, success, danger, warning, info dark, light and white just for testing purposes to see what's happening with background and then with actual font around page. Right. So let's do that. Okay, where is my editor? Okay, so class, it's enough thing here just to say on the same line here, under same um, quotes, BG, for example, and let's copy paste this for later. Couple of times. How many of them we have actually? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? I'm just going to use eight of them. Yeah, something like that. I probably hit that mark anyway. So this one primary, let's change it to success. Okay. Success and result is this. Now, of course, because we didn't define background color, this down there will be the same. Okay, so we have defined for this one. Let's change that. Ooh, where was? Yeah, danger. Okay. Right, obvious thing. Uh, let's go to warning. For example, info or um, what what else we have yeah i'm just going to copy paste this uh, dark light white and yeah this one will be i don't know primary primary okay so let's go to our editor to refresh things. So there you go, kids. You have your jumbotrons, you have learned that, you have learned contextual colors, backgrounds, right? Why do you have this one uh, default? Which is this? Oh, just a second. Yeah, why? Okay, okay. I probably, yeah, I thought that I forget something, but you know, you know. I didn't. Now, yeah, how to change actual font? Well, it's easy. Just go up here and say text, for example, white or text light or text color. <laughs> um, I don't know, danger and text success. Yeah, I have it up here. Warning. Warning. I think that's cool. I mean, you, you know the point. You, you're you just typing Jumbotron here, then text, then color, then BG, then specific contextual color. So you know that, right? Okay, let's refresh. And we have some kind of mess. Some, some colors are ugly and not appropriate here. Of course, you need to experiment a little bit and combine things, but that's pretty much it. So here's the question, yet another one. How to reposition the font here to center or right? Well, that's also easy. Somewhere here, for example, you can just say text. No, let's use it right here. Text, for example, center it's it's so easy text right and default text left and yep so you can experiment a little bit but don't rush immediately into creating your own pages with the jumbotrons don't, I mean, don't waste your time. Why? Because there are so many things in Bootstrap that you need to learn and then you will have that overall picture of how into basically in half an hour into hour you can create front end for your project. I mean, this is extreme time saver. I really like Bootstrap 4. Anyway, enough chatting. Oh, damn it. 10 minutes again. Anyway, see you next tutorial. Thank you for watching, for support and yeah, so see you there.